Rattlesnake is a, a supernatural thriller horror film directed by Zach Hilditch. The reason why I wanted to check out this film is because uh, Zach's uh, directorial debut, These Final Hours, a really somber, sobering look at the end of the world. And I really like that film. So I want to check out anything he's directed now. And Rattlesnake is a sort of interesting concept. Single mother is uh, cross-country driving with her daughter and they get a flat tire. Uh, when her daughter's wandering around during the uh, fixing tire, she gets bit by a rattlesnake. And the mom is scared out of her mind, you know, can't get into the car, no hospitals near be what she's going to do. And she sees a trailer in the distance, so she runs her daughter over there. And the woman says, I can save your daughter, you know, we'll talk about payment later. And um, manages to save the little girl. They bring her to the hospital, no signs of a snake bite. And the mom's kind of just wondering what's going on. Maybe the she's like that lady must have used a whole, you know, an ancient remedy or something. The doctor's like, it's just heat exhaustion. She'll be fine. And um, basically, a man strolls in and says, "You have to pay up. You have to kill someone by the end of sundown, or your daughter will, you know, f succumb to the rattlesnake bite." that I saved her from. This man turns out to be Satan. and In fact, the woman was also Satan. So our main character now has a goal. She has to kill someone by the end of the day. And uh, she spends a lot of the movie sort of just wandering around and deciding to maybe take out someone in the hospital who's near death already, but she's unable to. And when she finally finds a wife beater in a bar when she's having a drink, she decides she's gonna stalk and kill that man. So the movie has a really great concept. I really, and then a pretty decent cast as well. I think Carmen Iago is our main character. She's really good. I've seen her in other stuff. And then our main antagonist is Shades from Luke Cage. And uh, overall, the movie just completely and utterly drops the ball. The first, after she finds out she needs to kill a man, she keeps like sort of sitting around thinking, and it's just like she's wasting time, and it's really annoying. And then. Every time she sees someone on the street, half of them turn out to be Satan. And it's really annoying because she sees like this kid in a bike and, and I'm like, oh, is she going to run this kid over? The kid stops his bike, comes over to her and starts, and starts like giving her signals that she's running out of time. And I'm like, like, damn, Satan appears more in this movie than anyone else. Like she's going to have trouble because every time she tries to kill someone, they turn out to be Satan. So anyway, she stalks this um, wife beater guy and kidnaps him at gunpoint, takes him to the desert to finish him off. And the movie just falls apart at the end. Uh, honestly, this feels like a concept for a really good Twilight Zone episode because it felt like just stretched out. The movie's like an hour and 25 minutes long. It feels way longer than that. Ending is so unsatisfying. You have everything you need. You have, you know, the, the actors, you have the concept, but the story itself just is not there. And it feels so stretched out, very contrived. You know, it doesn't deliver on its uh, excellent premise. So Rattlesnake, you know, has all the right elements, but doesn't have any bite. So I give uh, Rattlesnake a 2 out of 10.